Okay. All right, inviting some folks in using the code OAUF. we got here. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hold on just a moment. That sound issue over here. Because I forgot to do something. Hello. <clears throat> Can you all hear me? Yep. Yep. Oh, okay, great. A little sound issue. All right. So, how's everybody doing? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. This is a. There's a lot of little steps here. Um, usually with me, everything's just on roll twenty, so it's a lot simpler. But um, I'm testing out this cool uh, looking VTT sort of app thing, and um, yeah. So yeah, no, no rush, no worries. Um, uh, has everybody downloaded the alpha? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So once you open it up, you want to enter as a player. Um, uh -huh. And there should be a place to enter a room code. Um, let me put that up. O-U-A-F is our room code. And um, I might have to go open it on another computer so I can... Um, see better what it looks like from you all side. But when you enter as a player, what do you what do you have laid out in front of you? Uh I just it says choose your character and then a little bubble that says create and then it just takes you right into a character creation screen. I yeah, the, I don't, the room code. I don't see a room code or anything like that. And also I've gone into character creation and you can't skip the class. Yeah, you can't skip class. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't want to let you do what we're trying to do here. So um, I wasn't sure what all we can actually use uh, from this app because it is in alpha. Um, there are a bunch of different problems. So mainly what, I'm, what I was going to try to do today is um, get us into a room to try to test the uh, camera, to try and test the chat. There's a map in here. Um, some of that functionality that I actually know how to get to because I'm still kind of learning how to use this thing. Um, and it's, so I appreciate everyone's patience. This is basically what we're, this is the main uh, challenges with what we're doing is like getting this. So it might be up to like 20 minutes to get everybody into it. I'm not exactly sure. So you don't see any other options. There's no other menus when it pops up for you. Yeah. Nah. Hmm. It's just like, Okay. Yeah. It... Well, um, go ahead and make a character if it's if it's got all the options to let you, and we don't have to use it. Just go through the character creation, um, and let me know if you have any problems. And make, like I said, make whatever you want. Um, we don't. We can do zero level. We, if it's a pain in the butt for everybody, we don't have to. Um, you're all free to use paper and pencil for for your characters. You don't have to. Use Roll20 beyond any of that stuff if you don't want to, um, but you are welcome to. <clears throat> um, so hopefully that, that'll help a little bit. Because I have I, I believe once you get through the character creation, there will be options of then where to bring that character, because you're officially not in a game, you're just you're in the app. So does the character creation is it working alright? Yeah, I just rolled some pretty baller numbers, which I wish I was rolling during a real game. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, um, I'm happy to use these characters, too. It's totally fine. Um, I'm comfortable with whatever. Does it have some good options? Um, or is it just player's handbook stuff? 
Uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, it, it seems pretty. You got an elf, a tiefling, a dragonborn, an orc, a half elf, a human, a halfling, a gnome, and a dwarf. So I mean, you yeah, know, you so got you got a nice spread. Okay. Got a nice spread. I'm talking to another friend here who who's trying to jump in. Um, interesting. He's having trouble getting into actual chat. Okay. Damn, these rolls. I want these on roll 20. I <laughs> know, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that could be. Okay, well, uh, note that too, because that might be a problem with the app. If it's always rolling high, their, their RNG isn't very easy to be dialed in. Um, Holy shit. Yeah. yeah, I think there might be something wrong with their um, okay. RNG. Well, cool. we'll <laughs> just... A little bit insane. <laughs> a little bit nuts. Uh, awesome. <laughs> we'll go with it then. And and like I'm not trying to do a bait and switch. My goal wasn't to focus on this the whole session. My 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 goal is to figure out what we can use from this app in the next twenty minutes, and then just play the scenario. You know, I'm not trying to because um, you all aren't getting paid for this or anything. Like I'm not getting compensated very much for this really. <laughs> so um, we're kind of just doing this to help out uh, some weirdos uh, in the D and D community. <laughs> we're trying to do something. Um, <laughs> Um, and you know, hang out. Little do you know, I'm sponsored by Honey. Oh, oh goodness! <laughs> well, hello, Honey. That's. <laughs> um, I have a great so advertising. I, I made voice. a character, and <laughs> <laughs> I, I made a character, and it did give me an option to join a game. Um, is your room still open? Because I put in that code, and it says the room's not found. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's uh, as open as it. I can. S- as far as I can tell, um, okay, let me see here, showroom code, don't showroom code, O-A-U-F is what I've got, oh, okay, I messed up, O-A-U-F, yeah, yeah okay, see? Yeah. there you go, that's my dyslexia, my, uh, O-A, yeah, my, my burgeoning dyslexia, <laughs> get out of here, what is this, okay, there we go, Like I see you there for a sec. You blinked in it out a little bit. Um, double check and make sure. Um, oh, um, and I hope this was clear. Uh, I, I think I put it in all the places, um, but I'm recording this session uh, and I'm sending it to the developers. Okay. Um, so again, I'm so, sorry if that didn't, if that wasn't clear to anyone, and if you need to go or you don't want to use the cam feature, that's fine. Um, not everybody has to be on cam. Um, so, no worries. Ah, uh, room not found. Yeah, it's, um, it's, U- it's O-A-U-F. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's my, uh, it's either my, uh, my, um, uh, blossoming adult ADD or my blossoming adult dyslexia. I'm not <laughs> sure which one it is. <laughs> Yo, those numbers. 
Uh, okay, let me see here. Guys. I thought I was eating good. <laughs> you was out here eating good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see here. I've only got... It's not registering my cam. Hmm. Come on. Starting to see you for a sec. But, um, yeah, do you know what, um, are you using a, are you guys using your laptop cams? Do you have plug-in uh, webcams or? Um, I have a, an external webcam okay. that I'm using. Yeah, I have an external webcam plugged in that turned off for some reason as soon as they got into the room. Okay. Definitely getting a couple of glitches. I just, um, a realms hanging at, uh, not responding at the moment. So, oh, and it looks like my internet disconnected as well. Can you all hear me? Yeah. yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. So it's just lying to me then. I see. I see how it is. <laughs> Come on. Um, hold on a second. How are you feeling? Tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. Mm, I love you. <laughs> I know he's not talking to me, but it's just nice to answer people's questions. <laughs> Oh wait, did you hear me? Yeah, I heard yeah. you and I, <laughs> and I answered. <laughs> I thought I turned off my mic. What happened? So, can you still hear me? Yes, I can, but that's because your audio is coming in from A-Realm, not from this. Oh, Discord. okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna, that's great. So that means that that is working. Um, I'm actually going to mute Discord entirely for me, so I can see if I can hear you all. Would one of you like to speak? Okay. So I'm not hearing you all. Let me see what kind of thing I can do with my audio. Huh. All right. Somebody's not working with mine. Um, okay. Well, I gotta switch back over here to where I can Before. hear you guys. Uh... All right. Now I can hear you guys. Weird. So my, it's not working on my end. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's... Mouse tracking or the mouth tracking is not too bad on this. Oh, you popped back out. I can't see you anymore. Okay, great. You've got it. You can pull out a little token. That's fantastic. Uh, whose token is that? I don't know who's who on this list. I just see the names. Yeah, oh, Garu wow. and Gorgonzola. Who's who? Yeah, I just I just chose Gorgonzola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. How'd you um, use that? How'd you get that token? I. I don't know. Awesome. Oh, it's just drag and drop. Okay. Yeah, drag so and drop these tokens. I didn't do anything. It just kind of appeared. Oh, okay. I'm curious what your window looks like. Um, oh, do you want to see? I can screen share. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Let me pop over to Discord. So this is what I'm looking at for this part. All right. You were up here previously, but you're more. And that's basically it. Okay, it's not. Um, it's not letting me see you. Okay, everything's moving yeah, really. Yeah, it's not picking up the camera at all. At all. <laughs> yeah, a realm is pretty intensive. Okay, so uh, show me again what it looks like when you. Oh, that's me. Okay. Um, Show me again what it looks like from your screen. Yeah, I mean this. Okay. This is all I see. Okay. And where did you get that? Where did you pull your token from, or did you just pull your nameplate over? I just pulled this over, and then the nameplate was there, or the token was was there. 
Okay, so you just pulled what over? I just pulled over this menu. Like, I just I went over here, pulled it open, mm-hmm. looked around at everything, and oh. then... Uh, oh, so the token was just suddenly there? Yeah, the token was just there. I didn't place it or anything. Oh, okay. Okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Um, now I can move it, though. Right. Okay, it's ideal. Um, let's see here. Do we have... Um, I'm going to make sure that... I don't know that Dragon can... I think he's having some trouble seeing the chat room. That, well, the Discord chat or the game room. I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, this is actually, um, this is a little smoother than I thought. This is, they've got a lot of stuff hammered out pretty well. I'm just checking with Dragon to see, um, okay. how I can help them. They may not be able to jump on until the next game, though. Oh, he said he'd be back on in 10. Oh, he's having some sort of power issue. Boom, that sucks. Ooh. Yucky. Yeah, I mean, uh, I heard uh, uh, Seattle's got hit with a lot of storms, and that caused a, a bunch of power outages over there. Woof. Woof. <laughs> Okay, um, you don't you don't have to share your cam anymore. I think I think you get a pretty good idea right. of what you're working with. Thank you. Um, so you can indeed move stuff around. I am not going to bother entering a bunch of values for NPCs or any of that stuff. Although I will need something for yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take a quick, short, like five minute, and um, yeah. bodily needs, and I'll be right back, and then we should be able to start with the scenario if you all are cool with that. Okay. 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 Be back in just a few. Okay. Oh, that was trippy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I didn't know what was going on when I was reading the description of this game. I I still don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, basically, Fainer just wanted to test um, a realm, and I I feel like maybe maybe the scenario he picked wasn't the greatest for it. <laughs> Campaign itself seems like a lot of fun. It took me like three times reading through character creation to understand what I was trying to, do, what I needed to do. But like, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I have three characters in D and D Beyond. Can't finish them because I can't. I can't complete them without giving them a class. But I have them. They're here. I don't know how to put that into Roll20 because I've never used Roll20. And uh, I read the the setting for our story. And from what I understand, a mountain drops out of the sky or something. And we just have to deal with that. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> It, it it sounds like it's if basically a fantasy Vesuvius dropped an entire mountain on a village. Word. <laughs> God damn these rolls though. I want to keep those stats. <laughs> no, those are some intense rolls. I just used standard array because I I didn't think to like actually roll it myself. So I just did standard array for my characters. But <laughs> if I was rolling on here, maybe you know. <laughs> What happens yeah. if I roll? Let me let me try rolling something. Or can I? Oh, I can. Okay. I'm going to roll two D4s and two D8s. See what happens. 
Oh, those are some pretty ass dice, though. Okay, so it came up. Is there a log of what that roll was supposed to equal somewhere? I, if there is, I can't see it, which is kind of frustrating. Yeah, because I mean, it, when I rolled that, my screen is like minimized to the size of like a credit card, and the dice are even smaller. Yeah. So I have no idea what, what those dice even just said. Oh my god. Oh, rolling a four. Lovely. Plus two equals six. That's a hell of a roll. <laughs> Rosie's um, the hacker in my cyberpunk game. Let me, let me roll a d20. Let me let me roll initiative. Oh, <laughs> that one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was cute, though, for the crit fail. Yeah, that a little animation. That was cool. I just... I, I feel bad for my bag of dice that I have downstairs. They just... <laughs> so sad and unused because i mean like i play i play board games which use the d6 but that's it everything else is just in there so sad <laughs> yeah i lost most of my dice when i moved bless their souls <laughs> rest in peace <laughs> oh wow not bad yeah once again still no representation of that anywhere yeah. Oh, you can ping? Okay, let's... Uh, okay, what do we got here? <coughs> Alt plus left click equals a ping, and you can use a ruler with Q. <coughs> Sheesh. I can see how far things are from a certain point. Let's go. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I can draw triangles. <laughs> Math class, let's go. <laughs> and then... Escape, yeah, okay. And then ping and then left click. Oh, word. <laughs> Quick, we must go over there. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, I still, um, I don't think you all can hear me through, um, oh uh, yeah, through a realm. <clears throat> just okay. I'm just noting that because they're going to go over the recording and stuff. So what did I miss? What, okay. were, y'all, what, were, y'all, what were y'all talking about? Uh, I, we found a ruler <laughs> and we found the ping function. So that was cool. The what function? The ping. We can ping areas on the map. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like um, Dragon may join us. There, yeah, they said he just got an update. Thirty minutes for power, so we're just gonna go ahead. All right, okay. so um, this lets you make one character. That's cool. So go ahead and just think up like a couple of more each, a couple of more townsfolk um, who would find themselves in the market square on uh, the main market day of every month. <clears throat> and um, you just gotta sort of keep those in mind. And I, I don't know if you have an option right now to roll extra characters, or um, again, if you can like look through your uh, your menus and see if there's uh, what kind of character options and stuff there are. <clears throat> ah. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that no. Fortunate. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Oh no. So let's see here. How did you ping? There we go. Alt. So I guess the short answer is you can't create a character when you're in a room. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. But so you can go back out of the room and create a new character? Yeah. Okay, because these people might die. This is a <laughs> tense little scenario. That's, that's why I say make uh, the character creation things make three. And I usually run this, everybody makes this, makes three zero-level characters, just townsfolk, and some, 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 some stuff goes down. 
and uh, <clears throat> you know we see who survives. And uh, ordinarily, I run it. Everybody starts with no equipment, with with nothing, and you're just in the market square. And there's stuff. There's booths and stalls everywhere, and stuff happens. Um, but um, <clears throat> You know, we can go ahead and start with a little bit of a starting equipment if you all like, um, or if you prefer, we can just do it the way I normally run it, which is, it's intense, but it's pretty fun, and like, you know, you might lose, I had one person who lost, immediately they lost their first two characters, and then, so by the time they played their third one, they like, were really canny, and like, kind of paranoid, so they were playing really, um, like, just super, super, super carefully, but they also started getting like, really good roles after that and so they kind of became uh the mascot of the of the group because they were like all wanted to keep that play that character alive because it was the player's last character you know they i, I told them I was like, <laughs> if you run through all your characters you can make another one i just i say make three because they can go down like that you know but um <clears throat> but since this is two um i'll probably i'm not going to make it that, that kind of hardcore but um yeah it'd be kind of fun so how did you use the ruler function um so the ruler is just q q on the keyboard and then you get to place a dot and if you uh press q again that'll place a point so that you got your line that shows how far away things are and then if you hit escape it'll get rid of the ruler gotcha okay very good uh now let's see i've got one other thing that i wasn't sure about there is dice there's a way to add Um, oh, awesome. Oh, great. Okay. So two things. There's a way for me to add costumes to me. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, buddy. That's pretty sweet. Adjust it, huh? Okay. Scale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Wait a minute. Are you seeing him? I can't see him. I don't see you at all. Oh, you don't? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. No. That's terrible. That's, that's unfortunate. He's he, he's wearing a witch's hat, and it, it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. At one point, it was wearing him. It was so big. Yeah, yeah can... I'll, I'll leave and come back. I'll... Yeah, maybe that'll work. <laughs> Oh my god. The hat that wears the wizard. Right. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, and then there's another way to bring images in. But I'm not sure how to bring like monster tokens in. So I'm just going to open up one of my other folders see what I can bring in here in a second. <clears throat> and um, and yeah, and as soon as I have a couple of good things, I will we definitely we can start this. We can start the scenario, but it's going to be challenging, or at least odd and somewhat uncomfortable to try to do this without tokens for the enemies. So bear with me for just another few moments, and I really appreciate y'all's patience. Thank you so much. Can you all hear me? You with me? Yep. Okay. Yep. Just... Okay. Okay. Let's see how this works. Mm. All right. Well, you can't. I can't just drag and drop from my desktop. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not seeing somewhere to bring like other tokens, miniatures for enemies and stuff into.
Okay. Can I see this little... <clears throat> Alright, let's see if this little, like, uh, condition count tokens. And so... Alright, we see... I, I see Gorgonzola's character. Um, Rosie, have you been able to draw... Or do you see a token for yourself anywhere? Yeah, I got one right next to Gorgonzola's. Interesting. I... Oh, okay, right on top. Got it, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Let me see if... Ooh. Okay. Looks like A-Realm is... Uh, uncomfortable. And is adjusting. <laughs> okay, let's see here. If I can... Uh, I'm going to try to put a, to a little... Um, status token on... <clears throat> on Garu. Let's see what... Do you see anything pop up on Garu? Nope. I don't see anything either. Okay. So I don't know if these, um, these little, like, uh, yeah, condition counters are working or how they work or where they pop up or if they're just showing me, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> DM secrecy. Well, I mean that, that's fine. It's just it's really useful for the players to be able to see, for other NPCs like if they're tagged or whatever, like in um, <clears throat> in Roll Twenty or whatever. Yeah. Um. I really thought there was something for images, so I'm trying to. It's gonna be hard to use the map feature without me having some tokens in here. So again, I'm really sorry about the wait, and thank you very much. And there is some... I wonder what's up with my camera. I'm gonna pop out of the room and come back and see if that changes anything with my camera. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm gonna um, ask in as a chat for this app, I'm gonna ask if anybody knows how to add a token really quick. Okay. see what else we got. We've got, uh, I can change my background. That's not the most exciting. Ooh. A cave. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> and uh, we got some ambience here. It's got a haunted forest. Oh. It's a loud haunted forest. Okay, well, without anything about it, like tokens or items, I feel like I did it once, like last night when I was messing around with the program, but I just don't see. Yeah, the menus just really seem kind of like limited, but you know, it's alpha, so. Um, okay, so I guess it's gonna be harder to use the map, but I can just ping on stuff if we need to. Um, yeah. Goodness, it just does make it kind of challenging. Are you able to see my orc right now? Yeah, at all? totally. No? Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and I can see... Now I see Garu, and I see that uh, you've got a token set up for Garu. Do I? Because I can't see my own token. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I can. I can see something. Ah, here we are. Add a creature. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Sweet. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where... Look at my Goblin Stone folder, but of course they're not in there because I didn't move them out of downloads. 
<sighs> Oops. Hey. Yeah, it's been a busy f couple of months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there's no way to mute other players. Good to know. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I'm hearing the ambience. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Is that too loud over there? If I can. No, nah, it. It's it's not too loud. I just I I didn't realize what was happening. I was like, "What? There's people and there's birds. What?" <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Where is my token even? What the heck? I like on the map. I your token is like hovering above the map. At least from what I'm seeing, like it's not actually on it anymore. It's hovering above it. What? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, and I'm, there's so a way to like weird. tilt the angle of the camera, and I can't figure out how to do that either. There no, we there go. Oh, there you are. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just put yourself in a. You were like right on top of me. <laughs> so go ahead and just. Put yourself in a random place on the map. Um, try not to be right next to each other, but you don't have to be at the opposite ends of the map either. But just, you know, uh, where your character would be if they're wandering around a market on market day. So, All right. one way or the other, whether you're, you, you might be from this area, you might be a traveler from far away, um, but you found yourselves in one of the greatest cities in the area. The most of the world is... There's long stretches of just uh, of wild and wilderness, thick with beasts and impassable forests. And um, think, you know, early in in the days of civilization, where there might be three or four, maybe in the whole world, sort of great cities that don't even know about each other, like that kind of setting. And it's the city, a city known as Arabel, and it's um, was created by a family of half elves, and it's very um, egalitarian and very accepting it's very orderly but not um um totalitarian <clears throat> they're um they worship that uh their, their gods are the tawatha de danon it's old um celtic deities and uh <clears throat> let's see here you all like i said find yourselves in the market on market day it's a huge um courtyard where several streets meet <clears throat> it's a on the ma main like east west one of the main streets into the city into the city center um, and a few streets cross it it's a large open plaza um, ringed with shop fronts <clears throat> buildings actually houses a lot of them are two-story that are owned and the families um, live uh, the families that run it live upstairs um, <clears throat> You, uh, actually, I'm going to pause. Just a moment again. Sorry about that. I got a, a lot of little stuff here just because they asked me to so nicely. <laughs> nice crown. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is, the, is that the crown I want, or is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, that's what now he's dripped out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, will it? Well, can you stay though? Can I make you stay though? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh, really? that, <laughs> it's perfect. What's it's up perfect. Now? What's shit. up now? Amazing. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you all the story, yo. <laughs> There's some serious stuff to tell you over here. Oh, where'd it go? That's my stuff. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, we, we're back in this. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, it's a great uh, flagstoned courtyard, and it's ringed in really not like nice, large uh, sort of houses that are, a lot of them are family owned. Uh, some of them the upstairs and stuff is used for storage. Um, 
the most prominent places, you know, there's a um, ping, an alchemy shop over here. There's a, a weapons and arms seller here. Um, down here, there's a famous uh, brewery and meadery, um, a bookbinder and translator. But then there's all of these booths and carts have wares laid out on them. Um, <clears throat> everything from, again, you know, smaller little tables of alchemy supplies that are kind of uh, working the opposite end of the square to the prominent alchemist shop. Um, weapon sellers, things like that, but most of the outdoor weapon sellers specialize in, um, say, here, there's a table that's um, <clears throat> it's mostly dedicated to, or a small tent, mostly dedicated to guardsmen's equipment, um, harnesses, uh, caps, pins, but also shackles, truncheons, clubs, um, and such like that. <clears throat> um, here, there's an archery booth that has long and short bows, bows and arrows. Um, you see it's another, another weapon seller here, um, but selling small, you know, small weapons, nothing greater than a short sword, perhaps a, a spear um, propped up. <clears throat> and, um, you know, you find yourselves drifted around, um, maybe waiting to, for, the, for the day to sort of wind out so you can get some better deals at the end of the afternoon. When all of a sudden, the air splits with a giant crack, um, almost like a huge slab of stone splintering, like just fracturing in half. And your eyes are all drawn to this dark brown <clears throat> blooming cloud that seems to be swelling above the city center, above the spires of the temple and uh, the Hall of Arms and the palace. <clears throat> It continues to sort of grow until it's it's this, oh, a large cloud that's um, just well, it's completely covered the inner bailey of the palace, and it as you watch over seconds, it it completely over it, it's now a shadow hanging over <clears throat> everything within the inner wall of the city, all of the most prominent areas, all of the uh, most expensive shops, of course the. Um, the military district, the um, temple district, and uh, the Tower of Magi. <clears throat> and, and, and out of it, it almost seems to fold, like it is almost blooming like a, like a flower, but it's this dark brown smoky cloud. And, and sort of coming out of it is this giant slab of what looks like porous stone. It's roughly, roughly round. Uh, and it's huge. It's it it, it dwarfs the, the whole palace and um, noble um, uh, manor of the, the city center. And <clears throat> as it sort of resolves itself into reality out of this strange cloud, um, it, it just it gets bigger and bigger until it's large enough that nearly all of the like it's it, it's it it is now overshadowing all of the land within all of the houses and buildings within the inner uh, defenses the inner wall of the city, and it begins to slowly drift downward, um, and you can hear people uh, screaming, uh, both around you um, and then far off in town. There's just this sort of wave of um, just terrified cries, like uh, par paralyzed, like nobody knows what to do. And it's this just seconds passing, and as this. As it slowly falls down toward the ground, or moves down toward the ground, it begins to pick up a bit of speed slowly. <clears throat> and then it almost pauses when it's maybe t 10 feet above the greatest spire of the city, which is um, one of the holiest places. It's the, it's, um, the Tower of Ogma. <clears throat> and um, when it's about 20 feet from above it, it sort of pauses and then it plummets. <clears throat> and it seems to crush all of the, the buildings within it, and it sends up a huge wave of, of dust and um, grit. And of course, a, a, the wave of cries gets thicker with more voices and louder near you as people are uh, terrified and just full of, of terrible awe. <clears throat> and then as this sort of, and from the city center, the screams are, of course, louder from 
people that may be witnessing destruction from from where you're at there's the houses are sort of in the way everything over the houses you can't really see you can see the edge of the city wall um, beyond that and then over that of course is this great stone is plummeted so there's a wave of dust and screams that sort of roll over the city and this dust rolls over the square <clears throat> and with it um, you start to see small quick feral creatures you can't quite make them out but they're darting all over the place you can hear people screaming around you um, you can see these creatures chopping with small curved blades cutting townsfolk down and you can see townsfolk being snatched up by multiple, like two or three of these small creatures, and whisked back toward the city center, uh, toward the stone. What do you all do? Go ahead and roll initiative. Word. Okay, initiative minus one. Good to know. <laughs> oh, nat 20, though. Woo. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, so what's your total? Just 20? Yeah, uh, 19 because of the negative one. Okay. So 19 and then 14 for me. Okay. All right, top of the order, Forkin Zola. Um, let's see here, let me pull my map back over. Um, so yeah, you're standing, both of you happen to be resting perhaps on the edge of this fountain statue. Um, and of course nearby, what did I say? I think I've noted too far. Um, let's see here, right next to you are two tents. There is, this is the um, archery tent, you know it's, you know where it is because it's right there. Um, <clears throat> and next to it is another, it just seems like wood crafting. Um, there's a, a barrel that has a, looks like a quarter staff and a couple of canes in it. So two clubs and a quarter staff. And then there's archery equipment here. Um, there's people all over the place. There's buildings everywhere. There's probably places to hide. Um, there's people screaming, people being carried away. And again, like just about all around you, you can see these little feral creatures moving through the dust and grit. Having to kind of... Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you're saying... Uh, I can't see where you're pinning at on your map for oh, okay. me. So yeah, so are you able to see where I'm on pinning? your corner of the screen for some reason. Okay, so neither of you can see where I'm, I'm pinging at? Okay. Uh, huh. I wonder if... Uh-oh, uh -oh. he gone. No! No! Oh, no! That's so weird, I can still hear you all. <laughs> no, I can't see you anymore at all, either. Weird. Okay, <laughs> alright. That's alright, though, that's alright. That's what we do when up in here. We are messing with this... Ooh. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> alright. We going. That's what we do. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Like, oh man, my my bling and my mustache keeps disappearing. That's disheartening. Can't have that. <clears throat> it's too important. Okay, um, can you all hear me? I can hear you on Discord, not on in Discord. A realm anymore. Okay. All right, uh, that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off A realm. Is that all right? Can you you guys can still hear me through Discord? I'm going to try to ping again, and can you all see that ping? Uh, no. No, it's like you've disappeared off of a -Realm entirely. Yeah, you're just not here anymore. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm not sure what to do about that, because if I close mine out, it'll end the room. <laughs> yeah, it'll close the room. Yeah. Um, and you'll still have your character, so you can still bring him back in. Which, that's not a big deal, really. Um, I've already got the map loaded. Yeah. That shouldn't take but a second. I will have to load the 
tokens and stuff again. Um, can you all try jumping out and jumping back in and see if that does anything? Yeah, because I think that's what worked last time. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I can see you again. Okay, very cool. Yep, there's the map. Token is back in place. Okay, cool. Let me see. Um... Oh, there we go. And right. you have gone again. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I see you now. I saw you for a good minute and then huh. out of there. Okay. It may be, it, you know, it might just be internet connection as it ebbs and flows across the nation. Um, <laughs> this, you know what I mean? Yes. Though? Um, connectivity. Is yeah. A, yeah. Connectivity is a shifting yeah, thing. A yeah. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a metaphor. You can use that all across. In all kinds of different areas of thought, though, how uh, connection connections are always in flux. You know, they're dynamic. Yeah. They're dynamic things, um, not not static things. <clears throat> um, so perhaps it's something like that. Maybe the, the program's sensitive. So like, whenever so there's some interruption, it's just like, oh, oh. Maybe it's you know it's anxious. It's, maybe it's a little socially socially anxious. It like suffers from an anxiety disorder. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally sympathetic to that. Empathetic. Well, I don't know if there's deeper words. <laughs> I know that life. <laughs> um, okay, so can you still see me there, uh, Garu? Yep. Can you see me pinging? Um, no. Okay. I'm going to try to do it this way. I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully, okay. it'll let me share a realm. All right. Good thing I have two monitors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, can you see my a realm window over there? Uh, I see your your like web browser. What? Whatever you're using Discord in. Yeah. Whichever that browser right? you're using Discord in, that's what that's, you're streaming. That what we want. Okay. All right, man. Let's try this again. I want the A Realm app. There we go. No notifications. All right, how about now? Uh, let me see. Uh, it's loading. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely. Um, Are you able to see it, Rosie? Nope, it's loading. Okay, and yeah. And I have like an exclamation point in the top corner. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is a little slow to connect with different stuff, but it does seem to have some good connectivity options anyway. Uh, at least things read it. Okay, so. See my pinging? My ping pings? Uh, yes, yep. a little bit, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I was saying right here is uh, archery goods. Um, long bows, short bows, bows and arrows. Just to the south of you uh, is uh, oh. wood crafts. So, uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is awful. I know that you can hear me. Or at least I know that. Is, oh no! I'm still connected. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. we can hear you. <laughs> okay, good. Discord's really not liking screen sharing this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I feel like I feel like Discord and A Realm might be like squabbling siblings or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I think we're just gonna have to go more. Theater of the mind, I suppose. Am I frozen? No. Okay. Theater right. of the mind. Theater of the mind. Yes. Which um, and that is. I've never used roll twenty. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Is that uh, workable for you all? I know that some people don't visualize very well. Um, I mean, you know, I got a pen and a paper here. I'll just write some stuff down. Okay. Yeah, mine works for me, but you know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. Let me move this guy down. Okay. Brain power. Oh, my pen is leaking. That's not oh, good. Oh, no! That doesn't bode well. It's not a good pen. I got it from a place that I will not even give promotion to by saying the name. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> totally fair. Um, can you all hear me all right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it definitely seems like A Realm, for whatever reason, is, is just pulling a lot of processing power or a lot of bandwidth or both. Ooh. Because it's... let me check my task manager. Okay, yeah, because it seems like I'm getting spikes where my computer in general is just like really slowing down. <clears throat> Not very often. I've only had two. Uh, it's, it's taken up a quarter of my uh, my GPU, but that's it. <laughs> uh, uh... Only a quarter, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have a I have a twenty sixty, so. It's doing okay. Doing, oh. doing okay it's, for the time. It's, it's doing okay. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. So, yeah, very nearby, there are, you know, uh, just to the south, or to the, yeah, to the south of you, there's a, like I said, it's woodworking. It, you were just looking at it. There's, like, small little uh, decoratively. Everything's, there's a lot of, like, scroll work and, and really fine carving, but it's, like, little boxes, uh, shelf pieces, uh, just all kinds of woodcrafts, but there happens to be like some walking sticks and canes that can be used as weapons. And then just to your right of that, if you're looking south, there's that uh, a small tent that has long bows and short bows and uh, you know um, archery bracers and quivers and uh, uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> and those are the nearest to you. But um, yeah, so Gorgonzola, it, you you. You, uh, you, you react first. What, what do you, All right. what questions do you have to, or if you need any, if you have questions to orient yourself, what are they? <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to make a, a dash towards that, that wood crafting tent. Cause I'm going to grab myself a quarter staff. Okay, it's right next to you. I mean, you're you're, stand, you're set on the edge of the fountain, um, um, next to Guru, and you may or may not know each other. It's up to you. If you all are town folks, townsfolk might be familiar with each other. So either way, you're sitting on the edge of the fountain, and literally, if you stand up, take a two, take a step, um, you'll be able to grab the quarterstaff. So Word. yeah, you Quick stand reaction. up, you grab Back it up. <laughs> Free free action. Free action. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can still move um, or do whatever else you want to do. And like I said, this okay. dust is swirling around. Your visibility is probably cut off to about thirty feet, uh, and, and you know it's you can taste the stone and brick, and you know what I mean. Like it's kind of choking your throat, and you're having to squint your eyes, and, and you. But, but again, you can kind of see these shapes, just sort of. <clears throat> right on the edge of your vision. None of them are within, say, 30 feet of you right now that you can see. They might be on the other side of uh, the, the fountain that you're next to or some of the other booths and carts, but um, nothing's immediately threatening you. Okay. Uh, I want to try to, like, run a perception check. I guess so. I can kind of try to find some some thing that's moving around that I can hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Any direction you can spot movement. In every direction. Um, every direction. Just about. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, not you know, but north, south, east, or west. You know, and they're and, and they're sort of moving. So you know, they're they're all moving in different directions. Uh, uh, just on the other side of the fountain, you can see what looks like two, maybe three of these 
creatures are dragging um, a a child. What it's, you think is a at least a very young, uh, a very very young man, like still a child. You know, like um, just by the tone of their voice, being dragged back to the north. Um, you can hear just to the south of you, maybe like fifteen feet, um, and you can kind of see movement. It sounds like somebody's being <clears throat> somebody. You can hear. Um, like just sort of the sounds of like scuffling, like somebody's. You can see that some goblins moving, or some of these creatures hacking at somebody, and you can you can't really make them out, but you can sort of hear their scrambling and them trying to dodge and get out of the way. And then you can also hear down in the in the southeast corner of the area where the brewery is, you can hear the uh, main brewer. He's also the bartender, um, Baba Brun. You can hear him yelling and shouting and um, uh, like kind of grunting like he's swinging something at one of these creatures. So those are sort of the main uh, things that draw your attention right off the bat through all this chaos. All right. To well, change this music if I know things. anything, it's <laughs> that I love to drink. So I got to go save my man, the brewer. If, if anybody's getting helped, it's him. Totally fair. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start uh, moving that way. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to move towards the brewery. Okay. That's to the north or oh, that's to the where, south. where am I going? Yeah, that's to the south. To the south. Um, <clears throat> so, like, yeah, the south. It's the very south uh, eastern corner of the map that you can look, that you can see, like uh, bottom right. Okay. Um, okay. So you probably won't be able to make it all the way to him. I don't think you can. You can count the squares, um, but there's Let's definitely see. things going on between you all. Um, um, so it's like it, seventy nine feet over. Yeah. yeah so directly, <laughs> like thirty feet um, down on the map south, um, there's a scuffle and somebody's being attacked, and that's sort of on your way toward the brewery. Um, but then you could also go. To the uh, to the right across the map, and try to intercede with whoever's being dragged to the north, and that's also sort of on your way. You know, it depends on which way you go around the carts directly south of the fountain that you're sitting at. Okay, um, I will move in the direction of the bar, going towards the person being dragged dragged off by these creatures. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just move your token just to the other side of the fountain that you're next to. Okay. Yeah. Just right in between the fountain and that cart. And sounds good. Or, or you're 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 coming up on them. You're moving through the dust. You got this quarter staff clutched in your hands, and it's got a good balance. It feels pretty sturdy, uh, which is good because maybe not everything else about this feels very certain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Which is sort of coming up on their side and. Um, you don't have to move very far, so you can make a stealth check if you want to. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's see. What do I got for stealth? Proficiency in stealth. Let's go. The ball awesome. Plus one. I'm curious how the die roller works in this. Oh, I lost uh, your face. Let's see. So I got a. I guess I got a ten then. Is what I got because I had a I had a three and I had a nine, um, so I'm taking the nine, okay, yeah, and plus one, so that was a ten. Okay, very good. Um, yeah, you slip up on them. They are completely focused on this kid who is like just fighting like a badger, trying to squirm out of their arms. Uh, they don't. There's three of them. They don't see you coming. You can get up on okay. one and take a crack at them before they even notice, and you can take that attack with advantage. I will do that. I will attack. What what kind of formation are they like in a triangle formation? Or? Yeah, they're sort of almost all crowded into the same square. You know, so yeah, basically a triangle. Okay. There's like one in front, two in back, and they're they've got this kid. They're trying to hold him up on their shoulders, but he's squirming, so they're kind of like, you know, he's kind of between them a little bit, and they're kind of going back and forth, struggling with them, trying to, because they're not very strong. And this is a, he might be the blacksmith's you know, or a farmer's kid, because he's a he's a pretty stout little kid, little 11-year-old or whatever. And these things are mm -hmm. small, but there are a lot of them. 
and they're pretty wiry. You know, they look pretty. Um, <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're not very big, but they look like you know the um, just you know veiny and like you can kind of see their even though their muscles are small, they're like they're corded. You know, and standing out. They're like, but, but real skinny arms. <clears throat> you know, but they're still struggling with this big. Okay. Big kid. Um, <clears throat> I will attack the leftmost one of them, whomever that be. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then plus two modifier on that. Uh, so we are looking at 13. Does a 13 hit? Yes, it does. <laughs> and you are, you've got that quarterstaff two handed, so that's a d8 for damage. d8 for damage, let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to get that sweet sweet damage oh eight let's go Holy shit. oh my goodness okay you're free to describe what this looks like as you take this creature down okay and if you don't want to there's no pressure i'll do it i, I just always like too. to offer the opportunity oh yeah no i, I i've got a i've got an idea i mean this is a kill shot right like this is he's oh, done yeah. oh yeah <laughs> definitely and okay I slowly creep up on the homeboy. <laughs> he has no idea what's about to go down. <laughs> I reel back with my staff, <laughs> and I take a mighty swing right on the nape of his neck. Ooh, <laughs> nice. This, <laughs> this makes his neck very floppy, and he falls to the ground. <laughs> That's, that's probably the most polite way to put it. <laughs> yeah, uh, he drops, and now um, with that one down, the kid is now starting to get free, uh, or at least really giving these other two goblins a, a struggle. <clears throat> so you took one down, and you really helped that the kid out. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, let me see, move back to my... Okay, now that's not what I'm looking for. There we are. <clears throat> All right. Next in the order is Garu. You've just seen uh, one of your, you know, town mates <laughs> just grab a quarter staff, dash by you, and you know you can see like they stepped over and just walloped and like uh, interceded as these goblins were rushing north with this kid and just took one of them out. What does Garu do? Um, let's see, Garu. And you can ask me questions before you go to orient yourself. You're, your character who's been around this place for you know probably an hour or two looking around they're pretty familiar so if there's something particular any questions you have about the setup of the area items anything like that you can ask me before you decide what to do okay um what what's in the cart slash pavilions like to the um top left and immediate right of my token okay <clears throat> The top left, that blue tent, mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, um, that looks like a, from what you remember, that was a bunch of general, general kind of stuff, like, um, uh, not general stuff, like a lot of uh, decorative sort of things, a lot of clay work um, and stuff like that, but you also know that there were um, flasks of alchemist fire. It looks like it's a, another potter, um, but they don't just sell the pottery. They usually get the pottery stocked with things and sell it. So there's like pottery and, and, and different goods. But you know there's like alchemist fire, flasks of oil, um, and, and stuff like that. Um, and say directly to the, like to the, were you thinking that little blue one directly to the right of your character or the two brown ones on the other side of Gorgonzola? Uh, I feel like we may have different perceptions of where my token is. <laughs> I, I, I feel so, we yeah. may have the same issue. <laughs> Weird. Okay, uh, so I'm not seeing where you're at. Um, can, can, can you ping and let me see if I can see it on the map? Uh, it. Basically, she's like in the middle of that triangle of 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 carts. 
Okay, um, so I'm the, seeing like, where you're at, right? Yeah, to the right of the fountain. Okay. So she's like sandwiched in three carts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, is it the purple and the two green ones? Um, right below, it's like the two green ones and the brown ones. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, cool. So the green one to the left is um, small iron works. There's daggers, um, arrowheads, um, small like throwing blades. There's um, two really nicely tooled and carved hand axes that you can ch that can be you can chop or throw with. Um, the uh, but it also has strange little toys and things like that. Um, caltrops, which you're, I don't know if you're familiar with, but they're little sharp pointy things you throw in the path of yeah, creatures yeah. Um, and, and stuff like that. The um, other green one further to the right, um, it's uh, like games and puzzles and things like that. Um, everything from like a chess set to uh, like uh, jacks and pickup sticks and again, little uh, carpenters puzzles and blacksmith puzzles and stuff like that. Um, and then directly to the south of that is actually um, leather goods. It's like harnesses and things like that. There's also some leather armor. There's uh, some leather bound shields. Uh, and there is a long sword and a short sword that are matched that have really, really nice scabbards. Like he got the swords and made scabbards for them. So there's a long sword and a short sword at those two brown tints. And some uh, uh, two leather shields as well. Okay. Um, in the tent selling, um, like toys and games and stuff, are mm -hmm. there any like, um, let's say like stage magic cherry bombs or anything like that? Yes. Yes, there are. There are some really simple, um, yeah, pyrotechnic things. There's some uh, noise making. Like the kind that, like, it has the two strings, you pull it and it pops in the middle. Um, those kind of things, uh, and some different, like, flash powders, and nothing that's going to be like a big sustained smoke bomb, but something that would last a round or two, you know? Okay. The kind of thing you, um, like, you throw on the ground and break, and whatever chemicals are in it, you know, whatever concoctions in it, so it's not fire based, it's just something trapped in little clay orbs that you throw down and it makes smoke for a okay. second. Okay. Um let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of those then. Or mm -hmm. at least I'm gonna try. Okay, yeah. I think it's like right there, right? Yeah, there's a, a little um like a little uh case where there's like eight of them and you can just grab you can grab that whole thing if you want to. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm gonna grab the case and I'm gonna throw as many as I can at the feet of any, like, feral gremlins I can see, I can, like, perceive. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, you, you move over to that tent, um, of avoiding some of the goblins, and then, um, and so, uh, yeah, um, sorry, Gorgonzola, the goblins, he was chasing her just to the north of where he's at. Um, okay. and so you can grab those and you can throw them at the two remaining goblins or there's other ones in different areas too, you know, so they're sort of everywhere. But those are the closest mm -hmm. ones as the ones he's sort of dealing with. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw at least the first couple few rounds at the ones, um, near Gorgonzola. Okay. Awesome. Ooh. Um, so you throw a handful of them down in between them and yeah, this, this like, uh, gray blue smoke just it like bursts out of it and builds up makes like a small almost like a small mushroom cloud in between them just from the weird <laughs> force that it comes up out of it because only one side of it bursts they're like weirdly built little clay things so it all this the smoke streams out of one side of it so it comes out really fast and then it just billows out from there within seconds um the like uh yeah the, the sort of Ten squares, or four squares around them. You know, the ten foot square is sort of filled with this milky blue gray smoke, and they immediately begin coughing. And um, you hear the kid hit the ground <clears throat> and dart off to the left. Or uh, no, he darts off to the right. 
running toward, um, um, let's see how do I describe it? To the right of the map, um, there's that little, almost directly to the right of you all, there's that little alley. It's like just to the right. It's just to the north. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that shop on the bottom, the south of that alley, is the weapon seller and sells like weapons and arms. And the kid bolts toward that place and is beating on the door. And the goblins are choking. Um, you hear one of their weapons clatter to the ground. <clears throat> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, both the goblins stumble out of the cloud, one on one side, one on the other. You can't really see each other. Um, and <clears throat> one of them, the one that's furthest from you all, just darts away off and back into the dust. And the one nearest turns and attacks Gorgonzola. Go ahead and use all the... All right, let's go. All right. I'm ready to get hit because I'm oh, pretty boy. sure my my AC is not high. <laughs> I, your AC is a little, little bit tragic. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a little down bad, but it's okay. <laughs> oh well, it um did not hit. It's still got you know, its eyes are streaming really? with tears from the that whatever is in that smoke, and uh, it, its eyes are already bloodshot. It's just like it looks kind of confused, and it just kind of gives a half-hearted. Ah, slash out um, and you easily just you know you barely you just lean back you barely do have to dodge it it's just um, <clears throat> but there's footsteps all around you these creatures are, you know kicking through the dust you can hear carts being knocked over cloth being torn um, and again you can can hear consistent uh, screams uh, coming from different places in the city not just the, not just the, um, the marketplace. <clears throat> okay. Out of the dust comes two more in your, like, toward the two, well, toward the, not that you're exactly right next to each other, but toward your area, um, moving toward its sh shouting companions who are like, yelling and fussing with this human or this kid until recently. <clears throat> One of them splits toward uh, Gorgonzola. The other moves toward Garu. Um, and they each slash out at you. And you can now that they're you're kind of standing still. They're close up. You can see you can see that these weapons are chipped and notched and rusted. Um, and just, in general, in terrible shape. Looking like they've seen much, much, much better days. Um, let's see. Ooh, uh, so one swings at Gorgonzola for a 19. The other swings at Garou for a oh. 16. Oh. Oi. Oi, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oi, Ah. <laughs> Guru uh, takes five points of damage from the slash of the scimitar, and yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> Gorgonzola does. Guru no, takes Guru out. takes Guru takes three points of damage. Gorgonzola takes five points of damage from these scimitar slashes. Oh, I take five. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and let me get back over to the initiative. Um. And yeah, again, you can he hear in the southwest corner, uh, uh, Mr. Brune just bellowing, <clears throat> Is that the best you've got, you snotlings? And him grunting as he he's heaving and swinging <laughs> something at these creatures. <laughs> and you can hear them squealing. Yeah. You can hear, like, what you're pretty sure is him driving one of them, like, knocking one of them back into a nearby cart, and the cart collapsing. Um... That's the only fighting you hear. The rest of the sounds you hear are people screaming, people running, um, uh, and the, the slamming of doors and the shuttering of windows. Um, and again, it's just, it's just like waves of 
screen, like you know, like like a wave of shouts keeps traveling from the city center, like as if something that you can't see through all the dust continues to happen. Um, go ahead and both make perception checks. Just try to peer through the dust and make sense of this chaos. Like I said, you've very poor vis- oh, visibility outside okay. thirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I have a minus one on perception. Same. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Uh, thirteen. Okay. What about Garu? Two. <laughs> <laughs> Garu. Oh, this poor oblivious fuck. <laughs> Garu sees dust everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um. But, uh, Gorgonzola, you managed to, you see, um, you know, the waves of sort of dust are still billowing out from the city center, and so it's, you know, dust is roiling around you and above you, and it's sort of creating shapes and this and that, um, within the dust cloud, but you can actually, after you watch for just a split second, you know, if you keep looking up and as you're getting familiar with this chaos, you can see that. No, that was just the roiling of dust. There weren't shapes in it. And you know because now you can see these massive shapes flying overhead, moving toward the edges of the city beyond you. Um, You can't make out what they are. They look like large, just blobs, just large shapes. But you can kind of see tendrils, perhaps tentacles, coming off of them. And they're just sort of waving. They're maybe 40 feet up in the air. They're right past the edge of what you can actually see clearly. And they're large. They're one of the, one of them. Like four of them would fill this. No, uh, would probably take eight of them to fill the square. But that would totally fill the square up. They're pretty big. Um, and they're not moving. And they're moving pretty fast. Oh, you know. Okay. But they seem to be moving lazily, like like they could move faster. Perhaps they're looking, scanning. You're not really sure. You, you can kind of make out. Well, they're right. They're mostly right above you, and there is dust. So you can't. You can't, you, can't, you can't make out a lot. Um, but they seem to be passing over everything and just moving to the edges of the city. And for as far as you can see, which again isn't very far, but um, in the air, like you look to the left, to the right, and you can see them, you can barely make out the same shapes a street over, or two streets over, in either direction. So there's a lot of these things probably moving out from the city center over the city. Um, but again, they don't move okay. toward the square or anything, but it's just something you notice that probably doesn't bode well. <clears throat> Alien invasion. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, um, top of the order, Gorgonzola. All right. Well, as I understand it, I still have... I have two in front of me, right? Yes. Two. Well, one yeah. is directly in front okay. of you. Uh, actually, yeah, you do have two in front of you. One stepped out of the dust cloud. Another came up from uh, the south, probably running away from Baba Brood. He's big. Okay. He's a big boy. I don't have a lot of hit points left, uh, but <laughs> it'll be all right. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. We are... We're just gonna try and take a swing on. Um, we're, we're gonna take a swing on the one that hit me. We're, okay. we're gonna take a swing for that one. Solid idea. Let's let's see what we. The rest need to be deterred <laughs> from doing that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Blap. Okay, uh, that was eight. Uh, is that plus anything? Uh, yeah, A plus two, so ten. Ten. ten okay. Um, this particular goblin is wearing no armor, it has no shield, um, and it doesn't seem particularly agile. That's a hit. That's a hit. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Okay. D8 time, baby. <laughs> it has a loincloth, some sort of pouch slung over its shoulder. Other than that, it's completely naked, and it's got a scimitar. Some of them seem to have armor or shield damage. Yeah, five damage. Okay. Um, If you like, you can describe this as well as you take this goblin down. 
Oh, he's dead too. Mm -hmm. I, these are weak. <laughs> well, I I try to vary uh, each creature so they'll have maybe different equipment, and I roll their hit points. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes you get a two when you roll hit points. Sometimes you get uh, twelve. <laughs> you know, it just depends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So, with this goblin, instead of doing a, a horizontal strike, I go for a, a nice vertical strike that hits him right on the top of his head. Ooh. Essentially sending his brain into a little pinball game inside of its skull. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. He seems to, like, his chin tucks all the way down into his chest, and he just collapses down like a like a demolished building, you know, just like crumples down in a stack and then slumps <laughs> over after he's all the way, as curled up as he can be, he falls over. He's just insensate. <laughs> a little goblin pile on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. There's, um, so there's one more near you and then of course your, um, one of your townsfolk nearby is engaged with another. Um, would you like to move, or are you going to stand your ground and uh, stand and deliver, as it were? I mean, I mean, you know, we got to risk it for the biscuit. We just going to stand our ground. All right, all right. <laughs> Garu, what does Garu do? Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Garu's still facing off with one, right? Yes. And aside from smoke bombs, she is unarmed. I should probably change that. <laughs> <laughs> Might be all right. Um, so, so, like yeah, I said, that she's... cart to the... Um, yeah, right. The brown cart to the south has a long sword and a short sword. The green cart uh, to the... Uh, the tent to the uh, west or whatever um, had hand axes and daggers, stuff like that. The, okay, the nearest so... ones to her location. Or his location. I don't know who's who. Yeah. Okay, so she's going to, um... Let's see. Uh, I feel like it'll... Hmm. Yeah, so she, she's going to break another um, smoke ball if she has one to obscure the, the goblin's vision while she's running. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Good plan. Um, and then she's going to try to go grab a dagger. Okay, awesome. Um... Let's see how we do for that. Yeah, easy enough. You, you throw the smoke bomb right down at the goblin's feet in front of you. Um, the smoke billows up in between you, and you can step away without provoking an attack of opportunity. You step over and you snatch up. Um, you can grab. Yeah, you snatch up. You grab yourself a dagger, and you are now armed. Very useful. <laughs> Oh, finally. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you, that, you hear the goblin like coughing and sputtering behind you and, and cursing in whatever rough language it speaks. And if any of you speak goblin, <laughs> let me know. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure not. Okay. Uh, I it, think I speak gif, if that comes <laughs> into play anywhere. <laughs> uh, the goblin who you just throw the smoke bomb at is uh, just like. Now it's slashing, it slashes its blade out as if you're still there, you know, and, and steps forward through the smoke. It's got its head turned to the side, its eyes squeezed shut. It's just like waving its blade back and forth as it, uh, as it moves in your direction. <clears throat> the Gorgonzola, your opponent. Oh no, it looks like A-Realm is not responding. Mm. Uh. <laughs> mm. Just so we're both not hearing him is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm not. I'm not sure. This um. This app is. Um... We lost you for a sentence and a half. Yeah, I, we have no idea what you were just saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Where'd you lose me? Uh oh. Uh oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> His internet gone. <laughs> Oh man. God, Aram is eating up to the part of my GPU. Jesus Christ. 
yeah it uh it's it's crazy <laughs> yeah it's it's a lot um it, it's yeah yeah <laughs> oh my goodness are we back yet no we're not okay okay but sure what happened here. Hello, hello. Oh, buddy. All right, well. Got a couple of issues here. Looks like A-Realm is hanging up quite a bit. And it looks like it's pulling both bandwidth and uh, CPU. I'm having trouble. Uh, my Players are not, uh, they're having trouble hearing me either at this point through Discord um, or through A Realm. Looks like my whole computer's kind of hung up for the moment. I hope this is recording so you guys get this. Um, yeah. Because it's not, um, yeah, I'm about an hour and a half into the session. <clears throat> Took us about. 20 or 30 minutes to get everything set up and for the players to get familiar and for me to get familiar with what the players are doing on their end and i guess we've been playing for about an hour had a couple of pauses and hang-ups and uh goodness everything is just not wanting to load up right now my internet connection says it's great although it doesn't feel good <laughs> Let's just see what else I can close. All right. I'm just going to refresh Discord. <clears throat> be able to finish this session. If I can't get back soon, my players aren't going to be able to, um... well, I guess here's the answer. I'm going to go ahead and close a realm. And, um, and then I guess I'm going to restart it. So the screen's going to be blank for just a moment, I'm sorry. Hopefully, there we go, we're starting back up. Bear with me, devs, just bear with me, I'm trying to get you all some good information and entertain my players, but I would not be entertained if I were them.
connection issues and things are not wanting to come together. I have no idea what the heck is going on. Wait, what in the heck? Wow. Shainer, are you alive? <laughs> Has the internet taken away? Oh, he's here. I don't, I don't know. Everything's everything's gone dim. I can't I can't see. Is that is that you guys? <laughs> <laughs> lost in a digital fugue. I, I think this message is from the past. I'm not sure. Oh my god. <laughs> my, is there, am I recording? Oh my god. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, A realm is, I'm trying not to use any, any, um, curse words, but it really cuts out most of my most amusing euphemisms. Um, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I I didn't know if we were trying to keep it PG or not, so I I tried to <laughs> try. To... I am so sorry for my sailor's mouth. <laughs> that's, a, that's okay. No, it's a, it's okay. You know, uh, it's not going to be. You know, it's not for it's not for like public consumption or anything. Like, um, <laughs> so it's just I don't know. You know, um, what they're gonna, what all they're gonna do with it. They might have some clips they might and, and say hey can we use these for promos and um so that there's like a little um questionnaire thing that i'll like link to you all after the session but uh mm -hmm. boy am i confused <laughs> confusing is a good way to describe the last like two hours for me yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has been really i really appreciate you all though i mean this is, has this been Hopefully this isn't felt like a, a waste of time for you all. No, not really. Oh no, yeah, we chilling. Okay. Yeah. So the new room code is PWVN. Oh, we're leaving. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, my um. Uh, F, F, yeah, A realm and my computer. Um, they all they all pooped the bed. Yes, they did. <laughs> right, right in there, and rolled around in it. That is unfortunate. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Fortunately, it's not my bed, and I don't have to clean it up, and it's not in my house, and so <laughs> I don't have to worry about any of that. <laughs> All right, what do we got? The harbor. Got some cave. What was that uh, room code one more time? Uh, P W V N. That is the right order of letters this time, I promise. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Things are working better than before, actually. Yeah, it feels like it needs to be shut down every few, every every like ten minutes or so. Like like that would make it a lot smoother. Um. All right. Got y'all some characters. I'm gonna add the gobbles. And let's see. It was a fourteen. That was a nineteen. That was a nine. And double check and make sure that OBS still has this. Oh goodness. Ooh, this OBS, is be... let's go. Yeah, I mean that's probably not helping, but it's not streaming, it's just it's just recording, so I really think, yeah. I looked and it was like oh wow, A Realm is, is using up like or or with a you know, A Realm Discord, um, OBS, it's like a processor's like it's using like sixty four percent. I'm like, man, sweet baby, I'm gonna give you a nap after this. <laughs> you usually exert yourself like this unless I play video games. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Okay, we back. <clears throat> Where were we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have. Uh, uh, like tickers and counters and things to keep track of in this uh that's something that would be useful things that'll help track initiative order and things like that but yeah oh yeah but without tokens and stuff on the map for me to reorient myself with that little hiccup i'm like i can't remember where where the turn was the goblins have attacked i believe that's right guru just got a dagger yep and they have not done anything this turn yet okay 
so. Yeah, there is still one uh, engaged with Gorgonzola. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he misses. It takes a slash at you <laughs> with its scimitar. And that is going to be a... Ooh, man, that is definitely a miss. Uh, it slashes, ooh. and it's, you know, it's wide again. Like, um, <laughs> these creatures are s- savage and more full of fury, but not, not skill or poise or anything. Just savagery. Again, you can hear Baba Broom shouting um, to the south. <clears throat> Try it again, whelp! Try it harder! <laughs> ah! Ah! <coughs> um, <coughs> the wave of shut bu- windows and barred doors has sort of died down around you, um, suggesting that at least a good number of townsfolk gotten off the street if they haven't already been killed or dragged away or ran to another street or um, um, hidden perhaps under one of the booths or tents so most of the footsteps that you're hearing in the um, market around you are small bare feet top of the order is gorgonzola Let's go. Okay, <laughs> time time to get this last goblin out of my face. <laughs> so I'm not seeing any. Um, I just see tokens for the two of you, or um, miniatures basically. <clears throat> I don't see your faces okay. at the moment. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah, pee. I've been trying my camera, and for some reason, like every program except A Realm registers it. Oh, weird. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, it's weird okay, that A Realm doesn't we want to see it. Yeah, for some reason my crown is one. It's not. It's not consistent. My crown is a tenuous it's thing. It's like a Snapchat yeah. filter. It can only tell that it's your face at certain angles. Yeah, like if I turn my face too much, the the orc will disappear. Yeah. And if if there's like any kind of like coverage of the face, it just. It yeah, it's it. that much harder when you wear glasses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. I mean, other than that, though, I mean, the mouth tracks okay, and I see that the eyes kind of track based on where your eyebrows are, so that's cool. Yeah. But back to goblin slaying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty entertaining watching you talk. Like, this is amusing. <laughs> it's intensive. If it was a little easier on my system, it, I might be more. I might be more interested. But once they scale it in, and anyway, you're right. Back to back to goblin slaying. Sorry. <laughs> back to goblin slaying. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see what we get. Oh, Oof. six is not looking good. <laughs> That's going to be a six miss. Make it. Six doesn't make the cut. It uh. does not. It dodges back out of the way. Uh, its eyes staring at you, and it just like hisses at you. Like, it, like kind of waves its blade at you. Um, <laughs> good to know I'm fighting house cats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Guru. What about? Let's see. Okay, so Garu is now armed. Um, and that is that goblin moving in your direction that you smoke bombed, and sort of clearing its eyes and still like it cut out of the air a couple more times, and now it's it seems to be looking in you all's direction. Okay, I'm gonna try to shank that goblin. Okay. <laughs> Keyword <Shank>. try. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. Were daggers dex rolls again? Yeah, they can be. Yeah. They can also be strength. Okay. Come on. Ooh, oh, nice. That's a hit. Oh, 15. Nice. Excellent. Very, very good. Let's see what we got here for this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. So yeah, let's um, see some damage with that. 1d4 plus your strength bonus. Okay. You got this. <laughs> uh, I sure hope really. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> really stab him up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, not bad. Hey, there oh, you go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> not bad. Um, shank, shank. <clears throat> uh, and again, this is another... 
uh, skinnier one. It's not armored. Um, it, it doesn't have any other equipment, but it's a scimitar. Um, and you can, would you like to describe this as you finish this goblin off? Oh, wow, that's a kill shot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually did roll three hit points for this one. So. Wow! wow. Um, okay. you know, enjoy this one, because the next one might have 12. Oh, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, she she can see the, the gob goblin still trying to get, get the smoke out of its eyes. It seems disoriented. Does, doesn't seem all that threatening right now, and so she kind of... Um... She kind of creeps up to it and just thrusts at her a couple times in, in the midriff very quickly. Oh, yeah. It, its eyes go oh, yeah. really, really wide. It like, looks down and looks up back and forth a few times and like. <laughs> and it just is eyes locked with you and it just falls, di falls directly backward like a tree. Just. <laughs> <laughs> scimitar clatters uh. out of its hand. Um, and lands pretty close to you. You could reach up and snatch up the scimitar as a free action if you wanted to. Yes, I would like to do that. Okay. You are now Ooh. armed with two light weapons. Um, on your next round, if you you can make, uh, you'll be able to make two attacks, one with your main and one with your offhand. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> but you won't get your uh, damage bonus on the offhand. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, where is my... There we are. Okay. Alright, time to see if I get finishing moved by this goblin. Absolutely. <laughs> it's wavering that blade back and forth. Like, just trying to just trying to catch your eye. and um, Keeps, like, you know, like, fainting and juking at you. And then finally it just, like, whirls it above its head and comes in with a big chop. Trying to reach up high because it has to reach up high to get to your head. It's trying to chop at your head or your neck. Oh. And oh, come on. And an 11 to hit. 8 plus 3. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> All he has to do is roll one hit point. That's fine. <laughs> is, that a, is that a hit? Right, you know, we, we still have a chance out here. <laughs> is that Was that a hit? Yeah, that, that was absolutely a hit, yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on. No, don't do this oh. to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, six, six points of damage. Yeah, that's that's death. <laughs> How many... What's your what's your character's max hit points? Seven. Okay. And how many hit points were you at before you took that damage? Two. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're not dead from massive damage. You are, however, at... You, you lose consciousness. You're at zero hit points. Okay, um, are we doing death saves now? Um, I like death saves. Yeah, and um, yeah, go ahead and make one now. Instead of waiting okay, until next turn. Let's see. Woo, I don't... Did I do that? Did, was I supposed to roll a d20? I don't, yeah. I don't remember. Sure. It's been so long. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nine. I believe that is... is that a, that's a fail, right? That, I think that's a fail. Okay, yeah. So that's one... Because it's got to be above ten. Right. So that's one failure. Um, Garu, you see Gorgonzola take a slash from this orc fall back, <clears throat> and you can see, uh, you know, that he's bleeding out onto the onto the stones. It is your turn. Oh, my drinking buddy! <laughs> <laughs> he's losing all Save that alcohol. Blood. It's, it's 98% alcohol. It's <laughs> <Right? laughs> just what I was thinking. You're like, oh my god, he's losing his buzz. I can see it visually. So yeah, what does uh, what does Guru do? Um, if there's an open flame door, it just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's good. Let's see, um, yeah. So she see she she. Let's see. Can she can she see Gorgonzola's face from that distance? Um, yeah, I don't think you guys are that far apart, but I, I can't okay. see you on the map. Let me actually double check and see if I can see any updates. Um, Let's see. We are ten feet apart. Okay, yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely see okay. it pretty clearly. Yeah, so she she kind of saw her occasional drinking buddy 
like fighting off a, tr uh, a bunch of goblins in the background. She figured he'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He's he's not. He's an orc. He'll be fine. And then he keels over. So I didn't like, take what choice does she man. have other than pick up his slack? <laughs> 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 I had to take down three, okay? I got two out of three. <laughs> not bad, all right? Not bad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she she rushes the, the last one, I guess. Okay. Um, you can step up, and you can make both of those attacks. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, That's not a good DM sound. <laughs> it's, uh, it's up to you if you want to, you know, roll them individually or roll them... Oh, there you go. Oh, I would like to roll them individually, actually, because one is offhand. Sweet. So. That's a nat 20 plus two. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So that's a crit. Um, I think that there's no way that that could have missed. <laughs> uh -oh. I don't think so. This goblin has mirror image up. <laughs> it's actually all the same offhand. goblin. And then a 17. Oh my god. Oh my nice. gosh, you are hitting this man. All right, <laughs> you got this goblin, which is good, because I did roll pretty decent for hit points for him. Oh no. So oh, no. that first one's a Because I didn't do any damage to him. <clears throat> yeah. Oh boy. So yeah, you just roll that damage twice. Just roll 2d6 and uh, yeah, put that modifier on there. Put that, that modifier on. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, put the cheese on the mac. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Nice. All right. Um, now go ahead and roll your offhand damage, your dagger damage. And again, that won't get the modifier. So Four. that's a total of 11. Awesome. Um, and you're free to describe this if you like. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So before I start, just just a quick note. I made this as a mage type. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <And a> dual wielding. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with a dual wielding mage. It's, oh, it's funny. <laughs> so, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, she she kind of, she rushes in, and before the goblin has time to react, she. Um, she she slashes in with 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 the stolen scimitar mm -hmm. um, in her main hand. Um, just slashes like right across, like shoulder to opposing hip. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then she sort of <clears throat> she sort of faints like she's gonna come um, up from above with with the dagger, but instead she um, sticks it right into the goblin's neck. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, the goblin, uh, as soon as you release you, your blades, the goblin just collapses, and it's a, it's a mess, let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> now, we're going to, um, <clears throat> you've, you've taken out the, the goblins in your area, go ahead and just give me um, one more attack roll each, um, oh, just okay. for me to, just going forward, um, as you are sort of, you know, continue, you're moving through the... the you're continuing to move toward Baba, Brune, um, other townsfolk that need help, and, um... <clears throat> okay, so okay, that was a 15 good. for me. Okay, very And nice. I got an 11. So side by side, the two of you move through these stalls, um, you know, you, maybe you each grab other weapons as you're moving through, you grab a shield, whatever, and you were just laying goblins down left and right as you move toward Baba Brune. You get to him, just in time to distract, he's surrounded. He's got five of these creatures around him. He's got blood from multiple wounds. They've cut through his apron. And he's got that huge keg knife that you always see that he threatens uh, drunks with. And he's, it's covered <laughs> well, in go. goblin blood. And he's just <laughs> chopping him down. But he's looking pale. He's looking rough. And you, you guys come up and just start cutting into these goblins from behind. And you basically keep them from killing Baba Brew. Between the two of you, you sweep the rest of the square, you, you find another couple of people, you get the uh, you, you get the arms seller to come out with his crossbow, and you, you all clear the square. And over the next few minutes, or the next 15, 10, 15 minutes, you sort of you secure the square, you've got some people come out and are like out of the out of hiding and checking the wounded, you get, you've, and, and 
you start barricading the different streets <clears throat> and protecting the space, and you sort of at least saved one space in the city and created like a little center of order. And that's where we're going to stop the session for now. Um, I um, like to stop a couple of minutes early. I've got a couple of things that I usually like, like to ask. So aside from all the problems with a that we uh, the challenges <laughs> with a realm and everything, um, <clears throat> I know we didn't actually get to play that long. But uh, is there any feedback? Does anybody have anything that stood out um, that you you particularly enjoyed? Um, I, I I personally just enjoyed y'all's sense of humor and um, y'all's playfulness. But is there anything <laughs> that like stood out for either of you? <laughs> I mean, I still love the drip you got on, man. That's <laughs> yeah, buddy. <Yeah. laughs> Styling. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that that was fun, and I and um, I I definitely could see this being a a, a pretty fun campaign for sure. Like, just getting right into the the grit of it right there off the bat. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the birth of a hero narrative. Like, we're not starting off as people who know how to go on, advent on an adventure. We're just kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're drunkards in the middle of, an, of a fight out of nowhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close down the A realm and give my computer a rest. Sounds good. And, um... <clears throat> yep. Sounds like a solid call. Awesome. And let's see here. I think, um, yeah, there's some, I'm trying to find this little questionnaire I'm supposed to give you all, but I'm okay. sort of lost in all this information, so I might just have to send it to you after, <clears throat> so you all have to sit and wait on me. Um, <clears throat> oh, also, if, um, I know Rosie... Rosie's uh, play. She, she uh, we run a sprawl, a cyberpunk game together. We play a sprawl game. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, but um, where am I? If um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, um, they have a pork chop. To um, I don't know if you like the scenario, you thought it was cool. If you have a minute, you give me a review on start playing games. That'll kind of help, help me out a lot. Um, and I'm trying okay. to find this freaking thing, but it, I'll have to. Um, you, basically, y'all don't have to stay on with me while I pour through these things and look for the note, the link to give you all. Um, yeah, if y'all have to go, that's totally cool. Nah, I, I got no social life. To go today. <laughs> so. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna basically. I'm gonna run this again with a couple of other um, players, and you know, you all are welcome to join me again if y'all like. Um, I was gonna. <laughs> One more time me. around the bend. We <laughs> <laughs> sit here for a half hour. Come on, man. Where is that? Where is that review now? Where are you? Yeah, okay, well, pardon me while I'm just quiet for a second while I read things. Oh, yeah, okay. go for it. You guys laughing at you guys laughing at me? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Man. This could be more organized. But it's not. Oh, that's cool. Alpha testing. Am I right? <laughs> Alpha testing. Yeah, this is my first uh first time I've ever helped with this kind of stuff, so I don't really yeah. Uh, I had so many questions. It's like, what, what, how do I, what do we, what do I need to? And they were just like, dude, just, just use whatever you can. It's alpha, chill out, you know. Like, you just want 
whatever you can because there isn't much that's working. <laughs> right. I think they didn't say it that way, but you know, I think that's what they. Now looking back, I'm like, that may be what they meant. Like, it's broke as fuck. It doesn't work. We're sorry. Is that what the testing is? Yeah. I mean, I guess that is really all it is. You're just like, okay, we just made this thing. Let's see how broken is it. Yeah, well, it looks I like mean, the... it it definitely has potential. I could I could see you know a little optimizations, a little bit more uh, you know user interface mm-hmm. tweaks. You know, it it could be good. I yeah, think. no, it seems like it it could be really cool. Just needs a lot of debugging. Yeah, a lot totally. of debugging. Maybe a graphical update or two. All right. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm still recording. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Uh...